My name is Matt Kouchwa, and I am a music producer. Well, I can go all the way back to the beginning, which was, I believe, um, I was eight or nine, and I started in band, like traditional, um, traditional elementary school band. I was like fifth grade, and I started saxophone, um, and then checkered through, you know, junior high, high school. Um, and into college, I played drums and kind of just messed around with a bunch of different instruments and played in some bands. And um, But it wasn't until I was in my 20s that one of my bands ended up getting signed and doing some touring and doing a record and all those things that you do. Um, but even then, it doesn't really guarantee a career. Um, it was just a band, and so we did all the band things that you do. You play with other bands, and you play shows, and all that stuff. Um, but once the band ended, I found myself with nothing to do. You know, I found myself with no more shows, and um, so then through doing some other, um, uh, what they call co-writes in the industry, you know, writing for, trying to write for other people, and writing with other people, I met what became a mentor of mine, this guy named Zandy, and we started making music together for my own solo project, but then just in general we started writing together, started going to the studio and just sort of learning as much as I could, because he's, you know, at hits with um, uh, Backstreet Boys and 90 Degrees and that kind of thing. So after mentoring with him, now all the while I'm working part-time through all this, like either full-time or part-time, two jobs, whatever. Um, Where were you working? I was working retail. So I was working at Nordstrom. Um, and then some other jobs on the side as well. Um, but mostly part time in retail at Nordstrom. And eventually I found myself just not making enough money. And so I went full time as a manager. And I was there for a, almost a year, or as a manager, um, when the pandemic happened. And Nordstrom let go of like 25% of their manager, uh, managerial staff. Me being one of them, because I was a new manager. So, because I'd been with the company for so long, they gave me severance. And what I did with the severance was I took it and I put it back into the studio. And I just kind of doubled down. I, I hit up all the contacts I'd ever made, you know, in, including more. I, you know, cold called and did all these kind of things. And Eventually, a few things stuck where it was like, yeah, sure, we could, would you want to work on this or whatever? And I was like, sure, or, you know, I had no idea. I got a little crazy, you know, I like, I don't think this is crazy, but I would find out companies that, you know, video game uh, uh, developers, and I would find who was working on them, and I would go to their, I'd find their Instagram, and I would DM them, like, hey, I'm a music producer, here's my SoundCloud link, I would love to work on your project and I actually ended up signing a composer agreement with them and working on a bunch of stuff. I did a commercial for the Olympics um, that Facebook did for skateboarding because it was skateboarding's first year in the Olympics. Did um, a new song for Rugrats, the new reboot. Uh, I did a, a, an original song for one of the episodes. Um, and then recently, even and then after that, which was just two weeks ago, I did two new songs for a live action musical that Paramount's doing. So I can't tell you what that is because I signed an NDA. Very secret. It's very, it's funny to think about because of how long I've been doing music, but I genuinely feel I'm at the beginning. You know, I feel like I've done all these things to kind of land into a place where I'm, I feel like I'm starting in the industry now. Like I'm starting to get a resume. I'm starting to make things. So I feel like I'm at the bottom of a long ladder, a, bottom, a long staircase. So, um, I mean, I feel great. I mean, I, I'm very, I feel very fortunate. And, you know, it's, it's up and down. You know, some months are really good. Some months are slower, but I feel very excited and humbled to be at the start of what I feel and truly believe is a long career in music. Um, but I just feel like I'm just scratching the surface, you know, like I feel like I have a lot to learn. I'm still, you know, there's still so many things I want to do. I want to I work on a 
the score for an entire film, you know, and I want to um, I want to work on a lot of records and I want to make my own record and so I still feel like I'm at the beginning, I still feel like a kid, like a freshman in high school or something, you know.